This spot is a foliar disease caused by different species of fungi that affect peanuts everywhere this species is cultivated. Losses in infected fields can be higher than 50% of the total crop production, and they are due to plant defoliation and reduction of green leaf area. The detached leaf method can be subdivided in five main phases. The first phase is the spores collection from already infected peanut leaves. Here are the materials. Already infected peanut leaves need to be collected. Spores are collected from lesions of peanut leaves in plastic capsules using the mini cyclone spores collector attached to the chemical duty pump. Spores can be maintained dry and alive for a longer period inside a box of dryer it at 4 degrees Celsius. The second phase is the moist chamber preparation. For this phase the following materials are needed. A thin cotton layer is placed inside the lower section of a petri dish and it is covered by a filter paper to create a uniform surface. On top of the filter paper is placed a microscope slide. Finally, the petri dish can be closed by the upper section. The third phase is the leaves inoculation phase. Here are the materials. Green 20 solution 0.005% is used to remove all possible impurities from the detached leaves of our considered genotypes. Subsequently, the leaves are placed in wet petri dishes. Each leaf is placed with the adaxial surface facing up onto a microscope slide to avoid as much as possible the direct contact with water. Leaf spatules should be maintained covered with wet cotton for the whole experiment duration. The leaves need to acclimatate overnight in a growth chamber at 28 degrees Celsius and 16 hours of photo period. The same conditions will be maintained until the end of the experiment. Suspension of spores in a solution of twin 20 0.005% is prepared.
aliquot of the spore suspension is diluted 100 times and used to assess the number of spores in the total suspension using the counting chamber and the microscope. Twin 20 solution necessary to reach a concentration of 5 times 10 to 6 spores milliliter in the suspension is calculated and added to the suspension. The suspension is kept steered and used to inoculate the considered genotypes with a wet brush. The brush is deep in the spore suspension before the inoculation of its leaf. The inoculation of the spores is accomplished on the adaxial surfaces of all the leaves, followed by a drying period of 40 minutes. Then the process is repeated on the abaxial surfaces, so the leaves can be placed again in the growth chamber. The fourth phase is the germination test phase. It is used to count the germination of the spores. Here are the materials. Fifteen microliters of the remnant suspension of spores used to inoculate the peanut leaves are spread on a 0.8% sterile agar plate. Agar plate incubation conditions will be the same as for the inoculated leaves. Five days after the inoculation, germinated and non-germinated spores will be counted on agar plate in order to calculate the germination rate. The fifth and last phase of our experiment is the data collection. While the infection is progressing, data of incubation and latent periods, number of sporulating and non-sporulating lesions will be recorded for each leaf daily. The incubation period is defined as the period of time required from the inoculation to the appearance of the first lesion, while the latent period has the period of time required from the inoculation to the appearance of the first sporulating lesion. Data will be collected regularly until the occurrence of the first leaflet defoliation or death. At the end of the data collection period, the peanut leaves will be scanned and the collected pictures will be analyzed with an image analysis software in order to calculate the leaves infected area. 